China is establishing a physical spy base secretly with Cuba to spy on the United States. Think about that for a second. The last time a U.S. enemy, a communist one, tried to use Cuba as a way to potentially launch aggression against the United States, that was the backbone of the Cuban Missile Crisis. But today the USSR doesn't exist. That's not the real communist threat abroad that we face. It is the CCP. It is time we wake up to that. Using Cuba, three hour flight from Florida, three hour flight south of the coast of Louisiana, now working with a physical spy capabilities on that island to intercept intelligence from the United States. Think about that. Doesn't make the front page of the New York Times or Washington Post. They're asleep at the switch because they're focused on Ukraine. Ukraine is part of the deflection tactic. This is why China is now partly coming to Russia's rescue. They want that war to go along for as long as it can because we're distracted there while the real threat coming from China, we're completely ignoring. That's why I've, as US president, I've said that I would end the Ukraine war, but use that as a chip to pull Russia apart from China because that's what gives China the confidence to be as aggressive as they're being in the South China Sea. Now, even with respect to Cuba, they're pushing us because their bet is that we will never go to war with two different allied nuclear superpowers at once. Russia has the biggest nuclear stockpile in the world and hypersonic missile capabilities in advance of the US, but China has the next biggest economy and they're a contiguous landmass. But if we pull Russia out of that relationship with China, just like Nixon did in 1972 in reverse, pulling Mao Zedong away from the USSR, then we restore a trilateral international order where none of the major nuclear powers are allied with one another. That's not only good for global stability, more importantly, it's good for advancing American interests. And who would have ever thought that that should actually be the objective of US foreign policy?